first open iOS 11, you see the familiar hello displayed in multiple languages, and already on this screen you can see some design changes, especially with regard to the cellular data. That used to be circles in iOS 7 through 10, and now in iOS 11 it's back to the older bar style uh, display of cellular data. So now what we're going to do is we're going to press the home button as directed. So now I will set English as my language, United States. Now I'm presented with a new option which has not existed on iOS before. And apparently when you have another iOS 11 device that's near a new iOS 11 device, it'll automatically set it up. In this case, I don't have such a device, so we're gonna set up the device manually. So I click set up manually and I'm gonna choose a Wi-Fi network that's near me. And in this case, let's see, is there an option to go cellular? So there's no option to go cellular. I'm going to join that Wi-Fi network, and then I'm going to set up Touch ID. So I'll place my finger on the reader, and I'll begin scanning it like I would in older versions of iOS. Adjusting my grip, tap continue. Touch ID setup is complete. Now I can create a passcode for this device. And now I have some options regarding what I can do to restore my data to this device or start from scratch. I'm going to start from scratch as this is running iOS 11. Now I'm prompted to put in my Apple ID. Now it's setting up my Apple ID. I agree to the terms and conditions. So after my Apple ID is set up, I'm given the option to use Express Settings which says that Siri can send information like voice input contacts and location to Apple. You can enable Find My iPad, which allows you to locate the device similar to how you would locate an iPhone with Find My iPhone. You can let the Apple apps use data and locations, and you can also give accessibility information. For the purposes of this demo, I'm gonna actually customize the settings. So we wanna enable location services, wanna set up Apple Pay, now I want to configure Siri. So as you can see, Siri helps you get things done. This is the iOS 11 Siri, which apparently is much improved. Let's continue and see what it has to say. We're going to do some iPad analytics, let it send some data to Apple. I'm going to let it share app data with developers. And now we finish setting up the iPad and you can see the brand new home screen, which is available right now on iOS 11 with the Files app, the redesigned App Store and iTunes Store. And there we have it, the iPad is all set up.